Hi there everyone, I'm News A Meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. Hopefully you're having a great Sunday so far. I know the weather is not great, but this is the last day for a lot of people before it's back to work and back to school on Monday. So I hope you enjoy it to some degree. So today, once again, we are looking at rather cloudy skies that we have been stuck in this pattern for a solid week now, so this should come as no surprise. We will have a few passing showers later this afternoon into this evening. Temperatures are expected to be pretty mild though, so even when it is dry outside, maybe just get outside, get some fresh air, take a nice long walk. Temperatures are gradually going to fall into the mid 40s by about six or seven o'clock this evening. So let's take a look at what's going on with our hour by hour forecast. Notice through midday it should be dry, but those clouds will drag their heels once again. But by six or seven, there could be a couple of passing showers. And as I mentioned, temperatures will dip into the mid 40s by then. And are you ready for this? Here's a look at our latest forecast going into Monday morning. Initially, we'll see some breaks in the clouds this evening, and then the clouds will quickly fill in once again as a storm system approaches from the south. Now, our models have really gone back and forth on Monday, but Three of them are very consistent this morning with actually bringing some snow into the shoreline for Monday morning. So this in turn could make for a very interesting commute, especially along the 95 corridor and the Merritt Parkway. So here we go towards nine o'clock in the morning where the back edge of the storm will start to spin out into the open water, but not before we may see that snow inches far north as say Tolan or Wyndham County, but most of it will be tapering off by noon or one o'clock. So the snow is not going to have a lot of time to drop a lot on us. So that's good news that we don't have to talk about any significant totals and certainly notice by tomorrow afternoon that snow and possibly even the clouds will be long gone. So I wanted to show you our different computer models here because there are some consistencies. A lot of them are consistent with just kind of keeping that snow at the shoreline and keeping any snowfall totals closer to the shoreline. You can see the graph there and the GFS ranging anywhere from an inch to maybe upwards of three inches out towards New London. Three inches is probably on the high amount, especially with the fact that temperatures have been pretty mild over the past couple of days, but at least they're pretty consistent with keeping that snow at the shoreline. So not everybody is going to see the snowflakes flying tomorrow, although the areas that probably want to like Mohawk Mountain ski sundown. Unfortunately, they may miss out on this snow. So tonight, mostly cloudy, some snow developing by morning as temperatures will drop into the mid and upper 20s to near 30 degrees. And then tomorrow, as this storm system comes up from the south, we could see that snow at the shoreline. Things drying up in the afternoon, though, with highs in the low 30s. Finally, we'll see lots of sunshine on Tuesday. First time we've been able to say that in well over a week, but we will get the sunshine on Tuesday with highs in the mid to upper 30s before more clouds return on Wednesday with a chance of showers drying out on Thursday. Then we could be tracking another storm system by next Friday.